グリザニーの果実。Bonjour, watcher. This is j o r e Mega 45, and welcome back to the Fruit of Glitch Saga. In the last episode, Sakaki is not there, and yeah, we talk about the Parents Teacher Conference. And we're going to continue with Dish. Tada, the end was the tat, the dak, the shigoto, the dirt, the omar, the toka, honto, the baka, the sarate, the toska, the omar, the nine, the kedo. Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you about. My God. To be as manner to stay, do I go to see me to clean up? Whoops, sorry about that. Oh yeah, you don't want other people to hear, right? After seeing the overly honored dosha, I wandered over to the espresso machine and poured out two cups of coffee. I set the coffees down on the table, just the sort of dignified slab of wind wood you expect a raging giant monkey to flick, fling dramatically through some window, then take my seat on the sofa. 自分の部屋並みに手慣れてきたわね。The principal grumps a bit at my confident movements, but not to see sit down across off from me without being asked. それで話っていうのは ？Amani told me there's a parent-teacher conference taking place today. 授業参観。ああ、なるほど。そういうことね。I think you're aware, but it's the weekend. There's no, there are no class for anyone to sit in on, and there should be any teacher here to have a conference with. We are not, but on top of it all, you are at school for some reason. Yasumi no hi na no ni, ne? Also, there was a class of expensive jet black cars sticking out like saw thumb around the station this afternoon, and finally. Sunny. I haven't seen Sakaki all day. I don't know much of anything about her background, background, but. That look attitude makes me think her family environment is probably unusual. Judging from the way the others react, all of this seems to be connected. Am I on the right track? So, san, that's why I didn't tell you about it. It's a private matter, after all. I didn't feel comfortable dragging it out of them, so I came over to get the story from a more official source. So, the principal lets out a single sigh and stands from the sofa, opening the desk drawer. She takes out a brochure, then returns and drops it on the desk in front of me. It's the familiar Michiyama, Michiyama Academy admissions pamphlet. これ、あなたがここに来た当初見せたわよね。Yeah, although I just flip it through it, really. It is sort of information the brochure is generally packed with thinly discussed advertiser or obscure legal disclaimer. Either way, it tends to inform a lot of flowery, empty phrases, not genuinely fast and figures. I'm not twisted enough to find pleasure in picking out all the lies and half truths. I can find in this sort of thing. This paper is particular. Was written about this truly bizarre academy of ours. I expect there's more lies than half truths, and mostly perfect, blatant ones at that. So, ka. Ja, koko mo chan to wa mite inai wa ne. Please, Mr. Tajimara, please the papers offered to the first page. This is I expect it feels with pretty little for poetical sentences describe the school and its mission in highly exaggerated terms. There's something, Nani. The principal pointing to the opposite page. On the upper half of the page, there's a word. Principal Tajimana Shizuru, accompanied by a really formal pot of portraits. And there we have a chairman of the board of the trustees, accompanied by different names. Sakaki Michiaki. Her father. So this will be the principal Nas Tipi. So yo, Sakaki Michiaki. 偶然同じ名字なんてありえないわよね。坂木さんの父親よ。今日視察にお見えになるの。お、oh. ah, <笑>。はい、ミュージスピーチです。そろそろ時間ね。ああ。坂木光明氏について。あなたはどれぐらい知っているの？ As much as the next guy is no more, ever had any reason to look too deeply into him? Sakaki Michiaki is a name you'll find is pretty frequently in the papers, magazines, and television news. The East Beach Express Group, owners of a rail network with a prominent line running along the east coast of the Kanto region, as this powerful corporate body ambassador, it's only natural that he appears in the media on a regular basis. On the surface, he's the head of one of the leading Japanese business conglomerates and has. Extravagant multi-millionaire, and behind the scenes, he's hustling, tyrant, ruthlessly wielding brute force to repel, 
perpetuate the aggressive expansion of his company's rail network, he doesn't hesitate to shatter the lives of those who stand in his way. In particular, there's a lot to talk about his borderline friend fraudulent tactics in acquiring lands, apparently a legacy of the previous president. Under his leadership, the group has earned a friendly name, Eager Bandit as friend. I'm really not particularly interested in that sounds of gossip. The fact that I know his name anyway is a decent indication of just how much of an infamous celebrity this man is. Well, that's about the extent of my knowledge. I hope this is the part where you tell me I got the wrong idea about the guy. The principal takes a brief sip to a coffee. So no wasa dori no karega, tokidoki kimagure de Musume no irukono gakue ni sats to you koto de yatte kurno. Human jova, musume ni ai ni kiteru te koto ni natte runda kedo. That's not a case. Atta tamesi ga nai wa. Kore made ni san kai. There's a reason for that. Sure, Hanasaniwa. Mine with the Konogaku and no dekta Kaykara Hanasana to Kenaiwa. Some of them. Ah. I'd stop the alarm. The principal glanced back at me. Imano Hanashi, Mata to the Modekirukedo. No, I don't think that's a good idea. The man comes all the way out here to visit his daughter's school, then leaves without even meeting her. From that behavior, it's pretty clear the story of Mishima Academy's founding is directly connected to Sakaki's past and family circumstances, even if the principal doesn't spread it out on for me. <coughs> I don't think it would be right to hear anything more than this from a third party. I'm sure you've almost told complex reason she has been here that you will hesitate to talk about last time. That would mean that you have to tell me things my classmate wants to keep to herself. And if you leave the sedative parts out, I will end up with half an unpleasant story, which is just as bad. So, no, I just looking to avoid making my life more complicated than it needs to be. I stand in front of the couch and begin to move towards the door. Sakaki-san. But before I can make my exit, the principal words brings me to a home. さっきも言った通り、父親には会おうとしないのは彼女の方なんだけど、部屋にこもりきりで出てこなかったり、その時間だけ外に出ているというわけじゃないの。父親が来るときは決まって寮の屋上から下を見下ろして通り一遍の視
何も言われやしないわよ挨拶とかした方がいいのやめといた方がいいと思うよあまり人のお父さんを悪く言いたくはないけど正直いい気分にはならないと思うあまねって由美子のお父さんに会ったことあるのうちの父さん料理人じゃないだからいろんなところと交流があってねそれでここに入る前に挨拶だけはしたんだけどさあまりいい気分にはならなかったんですねなんかね好きなみな言い方だけど目が笑ってなかったんだよね榊さんのお父さん言葉だけは気持ち悪いぐらいに丁寧だったんだけどにしてもひどいよね会社があるのかもしんないけどわざわざ選んで休日にやってきてしかもそのまま帰っちゃうんでしょまあポーズでやってることだからねあんまり好きじゃない大人の匂いがするのよさだねまあうちらに会いに来るわけじゃなしたかだか1時間かそこらなんだからおとなしくしとこうそういやユージはどこ行ったのさっき学園長のところに行くって言ったきり帰ってきてないけど Well, he's going to see Yumiko Sakaki. So, yeah, do go eat the no cano. And if I feel right, did you so? Oh, so she would eat this. Ah, my need to know the way she can eat the target. Yo. 3ヶ月ぶりぐらいかな今日はまたどういった理由でいらっしゃったのですか自分を建てた学園に来る理由がいちいち必要なのかねああそうですいやそんなわけでは一体の視察のついでだよ厄介なものを押し付けたことへの償いとして私自身がこうして現地を訪れないことには示しがつかんからなそうあまり時間もないいつも通りのルートで進めてくれあの一応視察のコースはこちらで決めていたのですがいつも通りのルートで結構別の場所を見る必要はないし時間を割くなど持ってのことだ、oh, come on. Stop it, guy. はいでは行こうかなんかこうちょっと扱いの面倒な発電所を押し付けられた感じなのよね、はい、ここの町にとっての学園がですか平時だったらどうということはないんだけど仮に何かがあった場合住んでる人の不安感ってのはそりゃすごいと思うわよ失礼よね人をそんな扱いしちゃってでもそうされるような理由みんなにもあるじゃないそれはまあだからこそのこの視察なのよね何も問題ないですよ大丈夫ですよってアピールのために時々こうして大ボスがやってきて適当にうろうろして帰っていくカイマやホウレイソを食べるのと同じなのよさだよねつかそうでもしないといつ学園の排斥運動とか起こってもおかしくないもん私たちやっぱり邪魔なんでしょうかううんそうじゃないってだからこそみんな街では頑張っていい子にしてるんだしこうやってボスが来た時もひっそりとおとなしくしてるんだからうんでもまあ一番辛いのは榊さんよねやっぱりそうですよねイエスファイナルアビューティフォーシーン校舎から出てきたわねアベリーナイスシーン榊ちゃん
As soon as I opened the door to the rooftop, I met with a piercing glare. Much like the last time we met here, Sakaki is standing straight as an arrow near the edge of the roof on of the roof, her hair dancing in the sea breeze. But unlike last night, there's undisguised hostile hostility in her eyes. Yo. Holding eye contact, I answer her sharp gaze with a light greeting. She's clearly on her guard, so I stop my approach with a good distance, still separating us. What are you talking about? The reason I'm here, of course, is that I was slightly worried about a certain woman I knew to be brooding all by herself. Thanks to that, Medal Safri Super's unsolicited tip, I knew Sakaki's location and having been handed, handed that information, the idea of leaving her up here alone started to feel strangely unpleasant. Of course, if I told Sakaki the plain truth in this situation, there's no doubt she aggressively reject my concern. A coincidence, of course, I did here today was a slightly special day today, talk. <laughs> <coughs> so instead, I offer a very good mixture of lies and truth. The balls in Sakaki's court now. So, don't worry, I didn't start the conversation last time either, remember? So Sakaki breaks her side long glass in my direction, her gaze returning to the ground below. Since the door is only a three story building, the people below are clearly visible from our vantage point on the rooftop. Just now, the principal is leading a man in an expensive looking dark grey suit and what seems to be his entourage in our direction. <laughs> Sakaki pursues her lips tightly. As the approaching figures draw closer, she pulls herself back from the edge of the rooftop just find out that she can't be seen from the ground. Her placement clearly convey her desire to observe and her absolute rejection of being observed in return. <laughs> Hi there, father. I'm your daughter. I miss you. There's a voice from below. I casually guess towards the sound. The man in the expensive suit has a fake smile plastered across his face. His laughter is heart utterly hollow to the point that it's actually physically unpleasant to hear. It's the first blood to a person who has no real amusement in a very long time. <laughs> Sakaki flinches at the sound. She opens her mouth so ever so slightly, takes a few small breaths, then closes it again. Her shark gaze is clearly focused on the man in the expensive suit. She watches the man fixedly as he struts along com confidently next to the principal. It's the expression of someone sizing up an old and bitter enemy, but there's also something like sadness there. We haven't been formally introduced or anything, but it seems safe to say the man in the suit is her father, Sakaki Michiaki. Yumiko-chan. Compared to the man in the pamphlet, he seems slightly scrawnier, but I'm willing to bet that's just the result of some subtle photography retouching by his PR people. Oh. Hmm. Sorry for the delay, Yumiko simply stares down at his mood in silence. Those are or should be the eyes of someone looking at their father. They say they are not full of murderous rage either. Her eyes are just sad, sad and empty. At the principal's words, the growth starts just a little distance from the dormitory. Ah, then we'll be done with this. Oh, he turns to his side, facing the principal with a coldly high stare. Then no What is
どうしてもと。ほほ、he seems angry。We're seeing a irritated glance. The chairman turns on his ears and begins to walk off. He strides towards the front gate with his body is g o o d i n g overbearing haughtiness to the end. He doesn't look back. <laughs> Sakaki, Yumiko, are you sure it's a good thing to let him go? Sakaki stares unblinkly at his quietly retreating figure. There is no particular emotion on her face now, she simply watches until the end. <sighs> When he sees the figure reaches the school building and finally passes completely from view, Sakaki drops both hands to the iron rails, leans forward, and h e a v i s a heavy sigh. She stays that way for a long time, looking straight down at the concrete beneath her feet. The sea breeze picks up after a long interruption, salty air rushes past us from behind. Sakaki's long hair and uniforms flap noisily in the wind. When the gust dies down, there's a moment of perfect silence. Sakaki mutters a few words to the concrete beneath her feet. There's a hint of weakness in her voice. That's right, I'm offered a c o n c e i t silence. I'm not tactless enough to spoke my nose onto other people's faces out of mere curiosity. Now let me hear what I offer a concise, concise reply. I think we'll be over this. I'm not going to ask you anything, but if you have something you want to talk about, it, I'm willing to listen. I don't know what Sakaki really wants from me right now, but I think her words pretty clearly indicate that she was hoping I do ask her something. Of course, that doesn't mean I now have free range to barrage her with questions. That isn't why I'm here in the first place. Why won't, you, why won't you see your father? Is there a reason you're in this school? What exactly do you think about Sakaki Michiaki? There are plenty of things I'm interested in knowing, but it's not like dragging the answers out of her is going to change anything. If explaining things will offer Sakaki some relief, as a classmate, I'm willing to ask those questions. But as long as I don't know that for sure, throwing my curiosity at her will exceed good nature meddling and lend solidity in the territory of outright pride. あなたの考えはよくわかったわ。Sorry if you find my reasoning unpleasant. This is just my personality. 不快ではないわ。少なくとも、これまで私の周りにいた人間とは、あなたは違うみたいね。From Sakaki expression, I can understand she doesn't mean that in a negative way. Her usual harsh, pricky aura of rejection seems to have softened, softened somewhat. 私が話したいと思ったときは、聞いてくれるのかしら Yes, that's what I want to know. Like I just said, talk all you want. I'm not going to stop you. そうね。わかったわ。Sakaki pushes herself from the railing and walks across to the door. それじゃあ、また。Yeah, goodbye. Oh, that's all. Sakaki slender and throws the windows or doors with surprising firmness. As soon as she incites, it closes solidly behind her. The wind picks up again, casting strongly across the rooftop. A few stray grains of sand from the nearby beach blow into my face. Yes, I will head back myself. I'm not going to pretend to understand Sakaki right now. But if my arrival at this school, this town, and my entrance into her life can end up some working to advantage somehow, I think I'd like to make that happen. Simple as that. Right now, the fact that I'm lying this carefree, peaceful life fills me with guilt is a burden I carry with me every waking moment. If I can lighten that load of self condemnation slightly by doing some half assed presidio consular volunteer work, then there's something in it for me as well. Of course, the way that I think about this, such a calculating mercenary was added to a whole new layer of guilt on, on top of it all. On the second thought, I don't think if I should be counseling anyone. Slowly descending the stair, I muttered quietly to myself. Shinking deeper into a Sunday afternoon melancholy that has continued and has nothing to do with the approaching work week, I continue my life. s o l i d cool, quiet for some quiet time. And that's it. Miyahama Classroom. And the episode here right now, guys. And the episode here right now. Thank you for watching my video. My video is just for fun. Don't check out the decision. Just save the same. Let's say the magic word. I just say far more stuff. Let's go to the beach. Wow, what a nice episode this time. Next time. <laughs>